Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about manual SHVAC equipment sizing for heating single stage. All right, all right, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start with the following. So manual S, I'm going to choose this in green so what we have in here is the manual s manual s all right and this is going to be for heating for heating based on aka standards okay so aka as we always mention is air conditioning contractors of america and in the united states that's the standard or that's the method we use manual a manual j s and d are the most popular ones so in this case we're doing manual s so for heating what we're gonna have is three sections so number one number two and number three okay so manual s heating based on aka standards are saying that you're going to be sizing your equipment based on single stage could be for single stage all right single stage could be for multi-stage multi-stage okay multi-stage and then modulate burner modulate burner okay modulate burner so from this what we're gonna do today is the single stage okay that's what we're gonna do single stage and the multi-stage would be the ones that have two stages like they start in the beginning with low fire and then they go to the next stage, to the high fire. For example, is it, if it's winter outside and it's very, very cold, they start with a, with a low fire and they kick in with the high fire, all right? All right, so let's do with the single stage. What is the formula actually to size based on ACA and based on manual S? So the formula is going to be the following. Going to the point, overheating is going to be the capacity all right capacity divided by the load there we go that's all but which load this load is actually not cooling is actually the heating load and the capacity is going to come from the manufacturer all right so if we're talking about the load as you can see on the right side this is the load for this equipment okay for this house and this is mainly a block load block load Okay, when we so when we mention the block load, that means that a house is considered as a block. We're not considering zone one, two, three, four. We're not. It, it's completely a block load. Okay, so the block load it says it's like thirty four nine forty nine BTUs per hour. So we have this part, the load. All right. So based on this load, and we were using for this block load manual J. And this is right soft. You can always use right soft, elite. There is diff there are different softwares. All right. And in future videos, what we're gonna be doing possibly is uh, making a heat load calculation based on these softwares. Okay. Depends on 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 everyone, on the audience. If you are interested in that, put it in the comments below. All right. After you hit the like button. All right. So we have the load. Now we're gonna go for the capacity. So usually in residential houses. What we do is let's do for a furnace. Furnace, the furnaces come in 40k, 60k, 80k, uh, 100k, 120k. So when we say k, that means thousand. So 40,000 BTUs per hour, 60,000 BTUs per hour. And then 80,000 BTUs per hour, 100,000 BTUs, 120,000 BTUs per hour. All right. But it's very important in here to mention. That's why I'm putting this in pink. My overheating factor is going to be the following. This is based, I'm going to put a cloud in here. This is based on output, output capacity. This is not the input. And we, when you buy a furnace, what they're giving you is, see my cloud? That cloud is actually an input, okay? So it's, it's very important to mention when you're doing your overheating capacity versus, uh, divided by load, you have to take into account the output, all right? So now, let, now let's go back to the manual S, that, which is the main point. When you are sizing for single stage, these are the values uh, that manual S recommends, okay? 
So the values based on single stage are going to be the overheating. We're going to put this in pink. There we go. So overheating for single stage has to be between 100% and to 140 percent of overheating. Okay, but in the worst case scenario, if you if your CFM is not an, uh, enough. You can go to the next size, but the next size can be no more than, we can put no more, no more than 200K, 200%, okay? So this is the manual S. Manual S for single stage recommends to your overheating to be from 100% to 140%, all right? So let's, let's do this calculation. For example, for this house, what we're going to have is the equipment right here. See, we're going to choose uh, this model. So let's choose a model that is um, very common. Let's choose this. If you have a GMS S920 3BN, so this is a Goodman furnace. You can choose train furnace, you can choose carrier, whichever works. And based on the model, you're gonna be able to find what is the output capacity, the specifications and everything. So today we're using this um, Goodman. So in this Goodman, once you have the model, they also present the nomenclature, what every number refers to. For example, in Goodman, that means this is a 60K furnace, 60K of input capacity, 60% of input capacity, and they, this 92% represents the AFUE. So for the calculation, we don't need the input, we need the output. So the output, we're going to put in here, the output is going to be equal to what? To 60K, which is 60,000, BTUs per hour times the AFUE. The AFUE is 92%, but if we want to do that in decimals, 0.92. So the output is actually going to be the following. Let's do the math in here, and we are going to put like 60,000, 1, 2, 3 times 0.92. That's going to be 52,200. So that's 55,200 BTUs per hour. Okay, so this is the output, output capacity, okay? So since we have the output capacity, now we're going to be able to find the overheating, and the overheating is going to be the output, which is 55,000. We can put a comma or no comma. I don't want to make any confusion on anyone. So we have the capacity divided by the load. The block load is 34,949. So the our overheating capacity is going to be equal to the following 55200 divided by 34949 all right there we go so what we have is 1 1.57 so this is 1.57 1.58 okay overheating but if we want to do this in terms of percentage we just multiply it times time hundred times one hundred uh, one hundred. Okay, so then the overheating percentage is going to be equal to one hundred and fifty percent. There we go. That's what we obtain based on this heating load and capacity. All right. So one fifty eight percent is not within what manual s recommends because manual s recommends from 100 to 140 no more than 200 but what would be the other option this is a 60k furnace so what if we go for a lower value than that so if we go for a 60k furnace for example um a lower value of this would be a let's put in here the the other option. This would be option one, maybe. Let's put uh, option number two. GMS is, this is these furnaces are discontinued, by the way. Zero forty uh, two BN. There we go. That's the model number. Based on the model number, as you know, we need the output capacity. So output 
capacity equals to, this is 40, that's 40K, 40,000 BTUs per hour times AFUE is 92, that's 0 0.92, that's going to be equal to the following, 40,000, 1, 2, 3, times 0 0.92, that's 36,800, 36,800 BTUs per hour. So the overheating percentage is going to be equal to the 36,800 BTUs per hour divided by the block load based on a manual J calculation times 100 because it's percentage. So the overheating percentage is going to be equal to the following. 36,000 divided by 36,800 divided by 30. 4949 and that's going to be 105 percent overheating there we go so now that's why it's very important to know which one to put in your house so based on manual s based on based on manual j and we're going to put this with red you have option one which is this uh, would you put a 60k furnace to your ho house based on this block load or you would put a 40k furnace all right and the answer is it depends on the on the designer actually this is an executive decision if it was my house personally i mean personally I would rather be safe than sorry and I would put this 158% which is technically 58% oversized rather than 105. This complies with manual uh, S and it, it is within this range because it's recommended to be in 100% to 140%. But basically, honestly, I like the 120%, 130%, 140%. When it's below 120, 110, I, I don't feel so much comfortable, but who knows? It might work too perfectly, no problem. But also, I'm a little bit more conservative, and that's why I'm kind of would choose for my house 158, better safe than sorry, because you never know how the uh, the installation is going to be, how the ducts are going to be, or if everything is perfect. So I'm taking into account those uh, errors mistakes okay so because of that i would choose uh, i would choose a little bit oversized better more oversized and more because whenever the furnace is bigger you have more cfm in fact all right but this shouldn't pass the 200 percent the 200 percent uh furnace because when this happens is when you're saying 200 percent technically you're choosing you're doubling the size of your unit so usually when you have a bigger unit, you incur into this. If it's greater than 200%, you have short cycling issues. Short cycling issues is, are going to mean that the furnace is going to kick in and then after it complies the, with the load, it's going to stop. It's going to start, stop, start, stop. So it's going to wear out your system quicker. Sh avoid short cycling. Don't oversize it so much. But also, you don't want to, this is also good, but sometimes there is a little bit of the risk of, okay, this furnace is not giving us enough heating and depends also on the sensibility of the customer. Some customers don't, they want it harder. They want to have that control. So that's why I'm choosing the 60K furnace. I know it costs more, and but I, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So... This is an over, that's why it's very interesting to, to, to utilize this manual S and know how this uh, how to use this. Num uh, one more thing about this. Some because uh, the option number two is smaller, it's a 40k furnace. The CFM also is lower. And then when it is bigger, the CFM also is bigger. So manual S indicates size your furnace for a single stage within 100% to 140. That's the optimum, optimal. 
Personally, I don't go 101, 102%. I would go after 110, maybe 120%, 140, yes. If, if you don't comply with the CFN requirement of your house, you can always go past the 140 to until the range of 140 to 200, but no more than 200. All right, so that's the that's the the rule. And also, this is my own nomenclature. No, it's not my own nomenclature. But usually, I, uh, what we call what I call what we call is overheating percentage or overheating. Now, manual S actually in manual. If you buy the book manual S, Akai standards, they call this oversize factor. See, they call oversize factor over size factor okay and manual s also call these limits as um they call these limits as oversized limit o s l oversized limits oversized limits limits it's the same thing but uh, they call it differently all right so my oversized limits would be 1%, 100% to 140, or 1 to 1 1.4. See, you can express it in terms of percentage or in terms of decimals. So manual S in ACA, they like using decimals. So in, in, in other words, the oversized factor is going to be in decimals like this. The oversized factor is 1.58. But if it's in percentage, I usually call it overcooling, overheating percentage. There you go. I mean, oversized limits are 1 or 1 1.4, or my overheating limits are going to be 100% to 140%. No more than 200 if you want to achieve more CFM, all right? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button, and that helps a lot, and make any comment, all right? And thank you very much.